Well, he's going to be a thorn in their sides. Let's begin. Now, like many of you out there, I voted reform, and I'm really glad I did. It's just a pity that after coming third in the overall vote share, they've only got five MPs, where, of course, the Lib Dems who come fourth with 12% of the vote against reforms 14% of the vote, well, they got 70-odd MPs, aren't they? But that's unfortunately the way it works with our first-past-the-post system. But, but now, of course, Nigel Farage is finally in Parliament, and he isn't holding back with what he thinks, and I've got a feeling they won't like it too much. I mean, just have a look at this. There are more supporters of Brexit in the European Parliament that I sense there are in this Parliament of 2024. This is very much a Remainers Parliament. I suspect in many cases it's really a Rejoiners Parliament. But the other issue, and it's very interesting as we debate the King's speech, if you, if you look at the, the uh, speech itself, uh, the word immigration is mentioned only twice an asylum just once. And perhaps this is not a surprise, as when Sir Keir Starmer laid out the six big priorities for the general election, for the Labour Party, he didn't mention legal or illegal immigration. And that's the other area in which I think the five of us sitting over here are going to find ourselves massively outnumbered in this House, is because we actually do want to talk about these issues. He also described the ongoing population crisis as the biggest impact affecting people's lives, damaging their quality of life, and virtually no one in this place even wants to talk about it. And he's surely right because what a lot of MPs are surely not thinking about is that if there's more and more people in the country, that's going to affect our NHS, the police, if they need to go to more call-outs, even the fire service, and doctors waiting lists and whatever else even if you think about it shopping because let's face it you know we all need to eat and drink don't we he also apparently warned that the uk cannot stop the migrant boat crossings either with rwanda plan or by smashing the gangs as sir keir starmer's promised he also says that the migration crisis is largely the fault of the european convention on human rights which was set up in the wake of world war ii with, of course, the very best of intentions, has now completely outlived its usefulness. And he made the suggestion that the Labour government could go to the people with a referendum on continued membership of the court. And I personally think that's a really good idea, even though, admittedly, of course, the last referendum, yeah, let's just say the government really didn't want to give us, did they? And whilst obviously yeah, I could be wrong, but it seems that this current government is trying to undo bit by bit. However, it does seem that this could be the only way to actually stop all the illegal boot people coming here from the safe country of France. Because let's face it, I don't really see Keir Starmer's plan and giving 84 million quid of our money to a load of countries is really going to do the job, eh? I think a much better and much cheaper way of stopping all the illegal boot people is saying, no, I'm sorry, if you're coming here from the safe country of France, then you're going to be turned back to France because that is, whether they like it or not, a safe country. And surely there should be no reason why they need to leave it, eh? If, of course, they are fleeing from war or whatever else they say. It does seem to me quite strange that all these people who are fleeing from war or whatever either do leave their families behind or have really slippery fingers and just drop their iPhones or whatever else in the water on their way over. I mean, I guess I'm a cynic, eh? And hopefully in time as the pressure mounts because Labour's plan isn't working, that suggestion of a referendum might just turn into a demand. And then, once we're left the ECHR, we might actually be seeing a drop in the illegal boot people coming over here from the safe country of France and... All the lefty lawyers are probably going to go cry about it, eh? You've also got to ask yourself, haven't you? Now that, of course, Labour's going to end the contract with a bippy Stockholm, which, of course, itself was used to house a load of illegal boot people, whilst they are indeed waiting to see if they can stay or not. Now that that is ending in January 2025, according to this article, what are Labour going to do with them now, eh? I mean, where are they going to go? Are we going to go back to using very expensive hotels? Or maybe, just maybe... Is Labour going to tick the box saying they can stay quick? You can say, um, oh crap. And that being the case, it just makes me wonder how well the checks they need to do are going to actually be done, eh? Especially if more and more people are going to come over here from the safe country of France daily, thereby increasing the numbers. And of course, making Labour's smashing the gang's plan probably work about as well as a chocolate teapot. <laughs>